Hi everyone, it's Actuary Dude over here with uh, Lost Voice, but um, let's do another video. The force of interest delta t is a function of time, and, is a function of time, and at any time t measured in years is given by all of that. Calculate the accumulated value at time t equals 15 of a continuous payment stream of 50 pounds per annum payable from time t equals zero to t equals eight. Okay, so I've already taken the liberty of doing. Um, Finding the, I guess, the discount rate, the continuous discount rate for all the different times. Um, I didn't find it between time 8 and 15 because you don't really need it for this question, as we'll soon find out. But I did kind of find out some sort of accumulation factor over here um, that does go between time 8 and 15. And if you want me to do a video on how this is all done, I'd be more than happy to do that for you if you just ask. Um, okay, so now... Um, Let's get started. So what we've got to do is to get the accumulated value at time t equals 15. Um, we've just got to find the net present value to start with of these 50 payments each year for the first eight years. Um, net present value is so discount it all back to today's date. And then we can accumulate it over 15 years using our delta t, uh, which we're going to use this bit for. All right, so how do we find the present value? Present value equals, it's the integral between... I guess the periods that's coming in is so that's 50 times our V of T. And in this case, V of T is just this bit over here. So if that's V of T, then that's going to be E to the negative 0.05 T. And we can write DT over there. So let's find, uh, let's find this present value. And so we can really actually just bring the 50 out. The integral of this whole thing over here what is that? That is, it's the um, the whole function divided by the derivative of this uh, of the index up here. So that's going to be a negative 0 0.05, and then at the top that's going to be e to the negative 0 0.05 t, and that whole thing is going to sit in uh, inside of 8 and 0. Okay, and um, now we can find the next bit. So we can really actually just take out um, this negative uh, 0 0.05 over here, so then it'll be 50 divided by negative 0 0.05. And so then what are we going to have? We can start subbing in the values 8 and then 0. So e to the negative, well, negative 0 0.05 times 8 to the negative 0.4, if you use a calculator or your head. And then it's going to be minus where we sub in 0. e to the Negative zero is just one, so that's what it'll look like. And then we can just rearrange this a little bit and take a negative out, so then that's going to become positive. 50 divided by 0 0.05 multiplied by 1 minus e to the negative 0.4. And so there it is. And that bit over there is equal to a thousand. This bit in here, we'll find out what that is using Excel. And then we'll find out that the present value is equal to how many pounds? Let's see. So I'll just look over here. So we had it was um, 50 divided by 0 0.05 is what worked out. That was a thousand, and then we said the uh, it was equal to one minus the exponential of negative 0.4, which is equal to that. And when we multiply them together, we get 329 pounds and 68 pence. Um, and okay, so that's how it really looks. 329.68, so I'll write that in, 329.68, how do we find the accumulated value after 15 years? Well, all we do is take the present value, this value over here, and multiply it by our accumulation factor, which is um, after, what does it ask us? It says, the accumulated value at time t equals 15, so that time, we've just got to sub 15 into here or subbing 15 as t in all of this. So we'll work that out as well. So let's find what does a of 15 equal. Well, let me just see if I can change Excel and do that. And now let's sub uh, 15 in. So we're going to have the exponent, sorry, equals the exponential of 0 0.04 times 15. Uh, sorry, that's got a, a minus there. I think if I remember correctly, that should be a plus. So everyone can change that, actually, if you're writing it down for whatever reason. So that'll be plus 
point one two three zeros and then a four times fifteen cubed all divided by three and then we're going plus whatever that number is point zero one one seven three three um, and I'll just bring that along so we can all see it. And there it is. Uh, okay, I forgot to put in some brackets somewhere, but I think has it worked it all out? So let me just have a quick look. 0 0.04 times 15 plus 0 0.0004 times 15 cubed, all divided by 3. I'll just put that inside a set of brackets itself. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little nervous that way. That should all be fine. Yeah, um, that says 2.89. I'm just going to uh, ex sorry. I'm just going to see if I can bring out more decimal places for that one. Here we go, 2.8914. So I'm now just going to say equals our present value multiplied by a of 15, which is that bit there, equals 953.23 pounds. So 0.23. That's in pounds. This is the total answer. This is our, you know, final value, and it was two point eight nine one four. There we go. Two point eight nine one four. That's now fifteen year accumulation value. So this is really it. I uh, hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, then just ask the question. Um, okay. Thanks for watching.